Hey, am I recording? I am recording. So, I know that it has been a hot minute since I have been on this YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to cover that on a different day. Uh, so, what I can say now is, what's going on YouTube? Dylan here with the Bizer Gret. Welcome back to this here YouTube channel that has been abandoned for a couple of months. Uh, we are back and in action for the brand new Speed Duel GX Midterm Destruction Box. And we have the entire set list, so I'm going to sit here and kind of go through the set list. You know, there's only four decks, so it should be fairly quick. But um, this is like my first initial thoughts, the things that I said when I was sent, when I found this bound to the post this morning from cyber Knight about everything that was coming out and everything i'm i'm really like i'm genuinely so excited to be back to this format like this box paired along with my precious queen getting nerfed paired along with everything else going on makes me so excited uh ycs raleigh is in like a month and I am so excited to go to that event and play Speed Duel and just bang some shit out. You know, bang some shit out. You know what I mean? <laughs> I've been filming for over a minute, so I can I can curse. <laughs> but anyways, let's hop down to the main screen here. And, of course, the video capture device doesn't want to work. Yay! There I am. Cool! <laughs> so there are only four decks to go over today. Uh, starting out with the first one, um, the Neospatian deck. I have words for this deck, uh, both positive and negative. Um, the stuff that they gave us, I guess I'll just start with one really, one kind of negative connotation. Uh, well, I guess positive. Look at him. Look at my boy. In all of his glory. I'm so unbelievably excited to have Element Hero Neos. I am so hype. I'm a Neos fanboy. I think that the Neospatians are a crazy thing. Uh, I love the Neospatian cards in Edison format. Uh, it's like the main deck I play is just the Neospatian Dark Creator kind of dark turbo pile clusterfuck that Car Path popularized. It's like my favorite deck in the format. And I cannot get over enough. I have already been testing, like, I've already been testing piles with this. You know what I mean? Now, the stuff that we got out of it, obviously we got Elemental Hero Neos. I am so hyped with this card being in the format, mainly because of Hero Blast, because there is a, there is a, there, there's a card that, that is in the additional pack, or the additional cards in the set, which a lot of you probably already know, is Elemental Hero Prisma. Uh, this, literally, normal Prisma send this, set this, perfect turn one in my opinion. Perfect turn one in my opinion. And especially with the fact that we have a hero lives in the format, we can hero lives, summon Prisma, send Neos, and then with any of these little shitters, except for Hummingbird, because, you know, we don't have, we, we, we do not have, uh, Air Neos. Stupid, stupid lawsuit. But, and the other thing that really confuses me about this portion of the this portion of it all is there's no there's no flare scarab there's no flare neos i don't know why they didn't give it to us i can understand not giving us air hummingbirds fusion air neos they can't legally print that card but what i don't understand with this little five card package here is Air Hummingbird is cool because you get to make Storm Neo. Storm Neos is a three material fusion. But why give us this now? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I can understand why they gave it to us now. Because I'm pretty sure Jaden used this in the anime to beat Sartorius. So that makes sense to me now that I'm thinking about it. But why not cut this because we're not getting the fusion for this? cut this because then we wouldn't have this to you to make this to summon this and just give us flare scare flare neos and give us six playables and not a time card <laughs> but i can't complain i i i think i i am i'm very content with these five neospatian cards being out especially since we got some other really cool stuff for it uh we got neos alias 
1900 vanilla. I'm so excited. We didn't get Gemini Spark, but we got Alias and we got Hero Blast. And I'm super pilled on both of them because I like the Hero Beat deck in Edison. I've been playing a lot of retro recently and getting to play just that, but in a 20 card form, <sighs> sorry, uh, is fun. Um, speaking of Edison, we got Dandelion and I'm excited. We got Dandelion and we got Card Trooper. We got Dandelion, we got Card Trooper, and we got Cross Porter. Again, I love this card. This card's crazy in Edison format. Um, you ever wanted to make a Junk Warrior? Because this is how you do it. <laughs> but no, getting Dandelion and Card Trooper feels astronomical to me. Because 3 Trooper, 3 Dandy, normal Trooper, mill, two, like, mill 3, hit a Dandy, have 2 tokens, win. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it, it feels insane to me. It feels amazing to me. I'm so excited for just these first 10 monsters in the deck. I'm so hype. Moving on to the Spatian support cards. Um, we got Condor Contact. This card's insane. Anybody who tells you differently is lying to you. Um, uh, especially since we have Contact Gate. So you can go Condor Contact, put two Spatians in the grave, Contact Gate, summon two spaces from the deck, i.e. Air Hummingbird, Aqua Dolphin. So you can Convert Contact, dump Dark Panther, Glow Moss, or Dark Panther, Grandma, because nobody's playing Glow Moss, uh, and then banish them from the grave, summon Air Hummingbird, Aqua Dolphin, Normal Prisma, send Neos, Storm Neos, Storm Neos, blow up your back row, Push shit in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's like the one cool thing that I have done. <laughs> um, I was testing a, uh, a viral, like a viral despair version of Neo Spatians earlier. And I think the coolest thing I did was like exactly that. But I summoned, I summoned Grand Neos. Because I resolved next, which we'll get to next, but I resolved next, summon Neos, then normal Prisma, dumped the, Neos, the, dumped the Neos back to the graveyard, and then made Aqua Neos and blew up two shell, or yeah, blew up a shell in my hand to rip a random card out of my opponent's hand, and then boop! <laughs> uh, other than that, uh, we got EN Shuffle. I don't, I don't know about this card. So, I like this card in modern format. I like this card a lot in modern, but having it in Speed Duel feels weird. Because, so it, it converts prismas into, or it converts prismas into grand moles, it converts, you know, hard-drawn glow mosses, or aqua dolphins, or hummingbirds back into, like, Neos alias, stuff like that. But I'm just not super pilled on this card yet. I'm more pilled on the graveyard effect of putting two back to draw one. Uh, that's cool to me. Uh... We also go, we got Galaxy Cyclone. We got to have some reprints in these decks, you know what I mean? Cards that are going to be useful if you're just picking up one of these decks, like one of these boxes to play with your friends because, you know, Constructed hurts your head. But, yeah, no. We got Galaxy Cyclone. Card's cool. Uh, Generation Next, not super hype on this card. Card doesn't do anything. <laughs> Uh, Neo Space, same thing. Card doesn't do anything. This should have been a skill. I'm going to go over the skills later on uh, when we get the backs of them so we know the activation requirements and stuff like that. Uh, we only know the front sides right now, uh, so we know what the actual effects are, but we don't know the activation requirements. So I don't want to like throw out false hope and shit like that with like, oh, hey, you know, like the, the, the skill that adds Destiny Hero Plasma makes you start a card down because cards that search things when they're activated aka the skill cards always make you start a card down in your hand like you know the spirit gate skill shit like that uh oh oversoul you're just summoning neos with this if i see somebody summon a clay man off of this i'm gonna lose my little religion uh the only other card the only other card i could see people summoning off of this is sparkman uh, in Sparkman Turbo decks, which we will we'll cover later on, because we got a really cool card for that. We got another awesome fusion for that deck, and I'm really pumped. I'm really pumped on that. Uh, Hero Blast. We we'll talk about this a little bit. Uh, you know, Prisma and Neo set this cool. You blow up anything that's 2,500 
or less which committing to committing to pretty much anything in this game in this committing to anything in this format except specifically like blue eyes white dragon <laughs> uh this card clears and i i love it to death it's awesome it's also if you just like randomly find yourself with an alias in the grave after turn one uh destroys anything in 1900 or less destroys volcanic rockets destroys you know uh charging gaias stuff like that uh limit reverse yet another card that is like doing insane numbers in edison um <laughs> i'm if y'all can't tell these past couple of months i've been really big into edison i'm really pumped to have this card here um vortex trooper and card trooper alone are gonna make me lose my mind with this card i'm already building something in uh with dinos with it uh with shout out to zuxid uh i'm also already building something with the small roy big city deck that i adored when i was still playing uh speed duel like the 30 card uh trap stun spellbinding circle kind of deck that i think dr chinstrap popularized there for a while um yeah i really like this deck i really like this card <laughs> and then next um this card's so crazy the they gave us this card and i'm like i'm i'm beside myself over it you know what i mean the fact that it's a hand trap if you control no cards um icing on the cake because uh, you can activate it with a full hand you know just be like cool pass <laughs> the fact that you could just be like cool go for it kill me <laughs> uh i love that to death uh moving on to the next deck uh let's do the dino deck next Who, or the the fossil deck i guess the rocks um this is not an a to z that's fun uh obviously this deck was put here to uh be i'm pretty sure this was here for because the dino deck is for hassleberry so this is for crocodile crocodile gym obviously uh you know the guy that was there for a couple episodes in gx um i'm really hype on this deck because i like rock cards uh, i played a lot of mega rock turbo when i was uh, big in a goat uh we got one of my favorite goat cards of all time in medusa worm but for the stuff that's like brand new not new to retro stuff like that for those that don't know the fossil fusion stuff is from like 2018 2019 from a Battle of Legends set. She's probably newer than that. I think it's like a 2021, 2022 thing, honestly. Um, but uh, the whole deck revolves around Fossil Fusion. Now, if you can tell, there's no Fossil Fusion in this deck. They have taken the... They've basically made one of the Crocodile Gym skills, the Fusion spell, in a really bad way. But... To supplement that, they've printed some of the craziest cards from Yu-Gi-Oh's history. Like some in my opinion at least. You know, um we have MST. We have we have MST in Speed Duel now. We have MST. And dude, I, I, I lost my mind when I saw that. Literally like the second card shown in the video that I watched with this set list in it was MST as a secret rare, and I was like, I'm going back. I'm going back. You know what I mean? <laughs> so for the for like the main fossil stuff of the deck, uh Weathering Soldier, um, if it's from a battle or sent to the graveyard by a card effect, add a fossil fusion or card that mentions it. Uh cool. Card's fine. It's a two thousand attack normal summon. Rock. Uh I think that they probably they should have just branded this as the dark calling like support deck. <laughs> because this card's cool for that deck. Mega Rock's cool for that deck. Gaia plays cool for that deck. By the way, insane reprint. This card was like $40. And it, it drives me nuts. But, you know, $40 for this card. Reprinted. Cool. Uh, Shell Knight is an insane... Is a pretty cool card. Searches Gaia play. It searches... Doesn't search Mega Rock. Uh, searches, like, Valkyrie on the Magna Warrior. Stuff like that. Flint Cragger... Uh, probably has some implications in uh like rat box decks because the the fossil fusions for those that don't know uh the smaller guys so like uh skull bone skull knight uh and skull buggy 
uh, have graveyard effects that they banish themselves to do a thing. So, like, I think uh, Skull Knight pops a monster, Skullbone adds a time stream, and Skull Buggy uh, adds a monster that mentions Fossil Fusion. And Skull Gios is just a 3,500 piercer. <laughs> uh, it's a it's a 3,500 double piercer. So, for those that have played Advanced, uh, Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. This is our Chaos Max. This thing right here is our Chaos Max but it's got the hardest requirement to hard fusion summon because it has to use a level 7 or higher rock or a level level 7 or higher monster in your opponent's graveyard uh, so this card you cheat out with time stream time stream you tribute a fossil fusion monster and special summon a fossil fusion monster from your extra deck that's two levels higher uh, so you would have to like you'd have to make skull knight which you then time stream into skull Geos. and to make skull knight you need a level five or six monster uh for a skull bone all these require a rock monster also uh for skull bone you require a level four or lower and then buggy you require a rock in the grave and a level four or lower so skull bone and skull knight are the ones you'll probably make the most uh but other than that uh you know buggy's cool i guess uh, but Skullgios is just insane. It... Sorry, I'm trying not to wake up my kid. That 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 smack of my ring. <laughs> uh, other than that, the little the random support, the, just the support cards that come out of this portion of the box are insane. Medusa Worm is another copy of uh, Swarm of Scarabs. Fossil Dina Pachycephalo is gonna be. The Cyber Angel tech to end Cyber Angel techs. Uh, it, like, this card's going to flat out just... This car, this card's going to lay Cyber Angel out on its ass. At one good time, I'm going to set this against a Cyber Angel player, and they're just going to go to punch over it, and it's just going to destroy my opponent's field. And I'm going to be so happy about it. Um, Fossil Tusker, Big Tusk Mammoth, little, little things, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, Pot of Avarice, shuffle five monsters from your grave into the into the deck, draw two. Uh, Blasting Fuse, shout out to the Winged Rhinos players. Again, shout out to Zuxid. That guy loves, that guy loves Blasting Fuse. Uh, Release from Stone, another crazy Edison card. Uh, Sakuretsu Armor coming to this format has me so excited. <laughs> like, you all don't understand, I love Sakuretsu Armor. Uh... And, of course, Foolish Barrier Reprint. we got to have at least a reprint per deck is what I'm seeing here. So, that's cool. Um, going on to, honestly, what I'm pretty excited about. I, like, I'm probably, like, out of everything that's shown up in this so far, like, the other two are really good for, like, play potential. I'm really excited for this deck because I'm a Dino fanboy. <laughs> uh, primarily because, you know, we got some little reprints. We got Dark Triceratops, Gillosaurus, little stuff like that. But then you look at, like, the other half of the deck where we got Animadorn Archosaur and Baby Sarasaurus. Like, drawing these two cards or Fossil Dig with, with either of these two cards makes me feel like I'm playing advanced again. And I am excited for that. But what I think I'm most excited about, and the thing that, like, got me, like, doing, like, doing backflips, is we got Tyranno Infinity, and we got Sauropod Brachion. So, for those that don't know what this card is, Sauropod Brachion, uh, you can distribute summon, it's a level 8 that you can summon off of one Dino Monster, and then you can set it on your turn, like, you normal summon it, and then you can use the effect to set it, and then when it's flip summoned, book the whole field <laughs> literally just book your opponent's entire field and then if it's attacked uh any battle damage your opponent takes from that battle is double so it's kind of like this it's kind of like the inverse of the skull Geos, where like that does double piercing uh this just says cool um 3000 defense i can see this being played in uh like any deck with magical hats randomly, you know what I mean? Like magical hat dinos with like baby Sarasaurus, Sauropod Brachios, uh, just tribute anything, summon this set of magical hats, pass, cool. On your, like when you go to attack my Sauropod, I'm just going to shuffle two like 
gear towns from my deck in with the sauropod brachion and say cool attack one i beg you attack one because if you hit my brachion you're taking like you're taking a lot you know what i mean so uh that's like the big stuff that i'm really excited for from the monsters uh, i'm really 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 uh, the, the other little stuff again uh dyna base this card summons dyna tank uh and dyna tank uh just takes the attack of whatever whatever dinosaur you use for a fusion summon and when in a basically so when you target it with an effect you choose another applicable target on the field and just kind of move the effect over there so like if your opponent has a monster and you have a dyna tank and your opponent goes to book a moon your dyna tank you say cool i'm gonna move this book of moon to your monster go to hell <laughs> so that I, again little shit that i'm really excited for uh tyranno infinity this card my, my love my love i love this card uh it gains a thousand attack for every banished dino and there is a world that i was talking about this with my playgroup earlier there's a world where we loot baby sarasauruses to then banish them all with stuff like gaia plate and then if we don't kill our opponent off of that we just normal summon tyranno infinity and say this is seven thousand attack have a book of moon or have a good day <laughs> uh and then of course ultimate tyranno uh can just attack the entire field so that's another really cool card um we didn't get any we didn't get a big pill card in this we got a big evolution well, big pill card this is literally called big evolution pill we didn't get another pill card in this uh in this set which is fine you know what i mean uh so you know big evolution pill walks tail swipe good card Space-Time Transcendence, not going to talk about this card. card's not good. Uh, Jurassic World is there just because Destroyer Soros is here. Uh, and then we get to the trap cards, and I lose my mind because we got Paleozoic Canadia, and this card is Trap Book of Moon. If you all remember what the last Trap Book of Moon is, uh, it was Bloodgate Trap Hole. Uh, so we are back to having six Book of Moons in the format, and I'm okay with it. I am very excited for this card. I'm very excited for this card for Guilty of Control, which just gives you faux monsters, because, you know, we have two Paleozoics now. We have the Shrink, and now we have the Book of Moon. And I'm really hyped. You know, I'm really excited for that. Uh, other than that, I have nothing else to say about this deck. You know what I mean? It's just unga bunga beat. It's all this deck is unga bunga beat. Uh, and then finally, the deck that at least my circle is worried about is arcana force um how do you out the fool <laughs> so for those that don't know what arcana force does arcana force uh all have coin flip effects so they have a heads effect and a tails effect. So like we'll use arcana force the fool here so it has a primary effect this card cannot be destroyed by battle this card cannot be changed to defense position except with card effect and then when it's summoned toss a coin and it gains the appropriate effect uh, heads negate your card effects to target this card and destroy them. Tails negate your opponent's card effects to target this card and destroy them. Uh, one of the Sartorius skills lets you just decide the outcome once per card type per turn by having your life points. So I can say, I'm going to normal summon the fool, pay half my life. You can't target my fool with effects. Um, and then I'm just going to set Wabakus in the back row. Or... Uh, I'm gonna, you know, put him in defense mode somehow. And then it's cool. How do you out the fool? I'm gonna mitigate my attack. I'm gonna mitigate your attack damage. How do you out the fool? <laughs> so that's the big stuff. The other thing that I will kind of point out uh, one is the world. The world skips your opponent's turn. When it's summoned, toss a coin. Uh, heads during your end phase you can send two monsters you control to the graveyard to skip your opponent's next turn uh they're also all fairies so uh they get access to valhalla so you can valhalla's hall of the fallen 
special summon the world, find a way to two more monsters on the field, and then say, Sartorius skill, um, skipping your turn. Have fun. Uh, the other, the only other card that I will directly point out, because the rest of them are kind of bad, uh, is going to be Temperance. I'm not doing the, their whole names. Temperance. Uh, this card is... Uh, this card is Sphere Karibo. Uh, discard... It, well, it's better than Sphere Karibo, actually, because uh, it just mitigates all battle damage that you take. You know what I mean? During either player's turn discard it you take no battle damage from that battle so stuff with like the fool i have three copies of temperance on my deck three copies of fool i normal summon fool i get the tails effect and then i sit with two temperance in my hand and say cool you want to attack me nah cool you want to attack me nah and then it's on field effects aren't bad either you know the heads half all battle damage you take tails half all battle damage your opponent takes cool i'm gonna tribute someone over a floodgated monster and pick the heads effect by paying half my life points Get over it. <laughs> uh, have all damage I take. I don't give a shit. And then you gotta beat over a 2400 monster. Um, cup of Ace, Pot of Greed. Uh, Light Barrier lets you choose your effects, basically. Uh, and then, like, there's one, like, there's two major trap cards I care about here. Uh, being by order of the emperor, which is when a monster effect is activated, that activate that activates when a monster is normal summoned. Negate the activation. The player's effect activation was the gator draws a card. Cool. Uh, every single card you normal summon in this deck draws you a card. I love that. And then they're just vanillas. Well, some of them. Uh, and then divine wrath. Um, when a monster effect is activated, discard a card. Negate the activation if you do destroy that monster. Counter Fairy was one of my favorite decks uh, when I was really early into Yu-Gi-Oh, probably around the Pendulum era. So this card is hype as beans to me. I'm really excited for this. Uh, pretty much the only thing that I really care about. Empress, I forgot about Empress. Empress is insane. Uh, head, basically, its head's effect is every time your opponent normal summoner sets a monster, you special summon Arcana Force. Which, wild as shit, if you ask me. But then the last thing we got to cover is the uh, extra section, the little extra extra cards that came up and about. Um, Orange Dragon level 10 white uh, card does stuff, basically. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, so basically, you just banish Armed Dragons from your field and your grave, who's level equal 10, special summon it from your hand, and then add a white bale from your deck to your hand, and the start of the damage step if it attacks or destroy a card in the field. Uh, white Veil isn't that good by itself. One of the skills is for the, like, I think it's called, like, the Crystal Society. I, I didn't really watch this era of GX a lot, so I don't know what it is, but it turns White Veil into Snatch Steel. So you just steal your opponent's stuff, and then when the equipped monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can destroy all spell traps your opponent controls. Uh, and then when this face-up card leaves a player's spell and trap zone, or when this face-up card in a player's spell and trap zone leaves the field, that player takes 3,000 damage. But more than likely, if you're resolving Arm Dragon level 10 white, plus this, plus resolving this to steal an opponent's monster you are and this card also giving your opponent uh your card your opponent's monster ancient gear text you should be winning that duel you should be winning it at that exact point you're destroying a card you're stealing a card and you have an ancient gear monster that's just guaranteed in you know what i mean the other cards that are in this section are kind of weird or weird wild good crazy awesome you know survival's end destroys many normal monsters on the field as possible and if you do special summon level four lower dinos from your deck up to the number destroyed but destroy them in the end phase banish a card from your grave target dino you control and one card your opponent controls destroy them card good card very good card good uh miracle fusion uh i got really scared when i saw this card in uh the set list 
because I thought we were getting all the Gaia fu- or like all the all the Omni fusions. Uh, I thought we were getting absolute zero in speed duel. Stupid me. Um, I would have lost my mind if we got absolute zero in this format. Uh, but then I looked at the uh, I looked at the list again, and the only good generic quote unquote one is. No, the only one we have is Nova Master. The only Omni Hero Fusion we have is Nova Master. So this is used to make stuff like Flame Wingman, Shining Flame Wingman, uh, Wild Edge, which we we got in this box. This was the this was the card that I was talking to you all about. Uh, the Sparkman Turbo decks, like this, like the Hero Fusion Turbo decks that people are playing or were playing back in the day. You know, they were playing like three Sparkman, three Blade Edge, three Goddess of the Third Eye, and then just Bam Bam Defusion, whatever. This card's cool. Uh, because it just says you can attack every monster your opponent controls. One attack on each monster per battle phase. So you just summon this, give it a pump spell, and say, bow, bow, bow. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, that that's why I was talking about this card earlier. Uh, we got two Moki Moki cards. I'm not going over these. I don't like this deck. Uh, Patrick, if you watch this video, you know why. Uh, and then the two cards I think I'm most excited about from this box. Uh, some of, like, top five cards best cards come out of this deck or come out of this box um elementary prisma enables so much cyber dark cannon as well enables so much and i'm so excited for both of these to be in this format now cyber dark cannon makes it to where i no longer have to fill my deck with eight copies of cyber dark monsters or seven copies of cyber darks that don't do anything and it also means i don't have to play claw anymore so i don't have to play cyber dark impact anymore i can just play cyber dark control because the skill card that that is coming out in this box for this set is insane so i don't have to play the bad cyber dark skill anymore to find cyber darks this finds me cyber darks and it has a draw effect equipped to it and it has a foolish effect equipped to it. So I'm trying to find out where this card's bad. You know what I mean? This card is insane. To like this should have been in the first like this should have been in the box we got Cyberdarks. Cyberdarks would have been a meta deck. They would have been a top tier meta contender. And it probably would have gotten a Cyberdark card put on some kind of limited list. Probably this. <laughs> But no, other than that, um, the full, just like the full overview of this deck thinking about it, cause I'm getting, I'm getting to the point, I'm, I'm almost 40 minutes into this recording and I'm leaving this raw. I'm not editing it. I'm not doing shit like that, but my full, like kind of hype ideology, stuff like that for this whole set is we're so back baby <laughs> i'm i'm like i for the first time in like nine months i am excited to play speed duel uh that is gonna do it for me today though uh thank you all so much for watching this video if you like this video and want to see more videos like this more long form discussions talking about releases box sets stuff like that make sure to let me know in the comment section down below and don't forget to like and subscribe uh yeah i'm i'm hyped to be back on youtube i feel like i'm you know having a good time doing this I had a great time filming this video uh, i've been wanting to get more into long form unedited uncut content so this feels great so other than that i'm gonna get off of here thank you all so much for watching i will see you on the next one